Now I don't give a and I'm all in with this guy and I don't actually care what anybody thinks. And I do Kristen Cavallari's dating life is always a hot topic, although Kristen sometimes refuses to tell the truth. I'm not dating him. Sources with inside knowledge are setting the record straight on Kristen's new boyfriend. Listen closely because Kristen's 24 year old boyfriend has been exposed and you won't believe how she's reacting. Kristen might never reveal her side of the story about why Mark Estes is her Mr. Right Now. This relationship is getting major shade because of their age difference and USA Today reported that Kristen seriously clapped back at the online trolls going after her and Mark. She slammed their critics in a TikTok video. She captioned her clip when they're all up in arms that I'm dating a 24 year old. She mouthed, so what are you gonna do about it? It's kind of sweet that Kristen is coming to the defense of her new boyfriend, but what exactly is Mark looking for here? There's another rumor floating around. The problem is it's not too far fetched to believe. Is Mark only in this for the fame? If you didn't know this already, Mark has a ton of followers on TikTok. His personal TikTok account has 70,000 followers. He and three friends back in Montana also have a group on TikTok called Montana Boys, and that account is growing too. Currently, the Montana Boys have over 450,000 TikTok followers. Mark and the Montana Boys mostly post so-called thirst traps on their cowboy life in the Big Sky State. And there's one Montana Boys video that's catching some heat right now, not just because it shows Mark and his crew warming up the grill. The cheeky caption on this video also claimed that Mark and his crew were all single. But was that the real truth? Because they posted the video on Valentine's Day 2024. So if we're supposed to believe Kristen's big news on Instagram, Mark wasn't single in February. Kristen went official with Mark on Instagram very recently. The only thing Kristen really said on Instagram is that Mark makes her happy. But Kristen's followers refused to hold back even when they put it nicely as this commenter kind of did. They wrote that the weirdest part about Kristen and Mark isn't just their 13 year age difference. The commenter was more weirded out by the fact that Mark is only 13 years older than Camden, Kristen's oldest son. Kristen does have some sources backing her up, including someone anonymous who made an exclusive statement to People.com. This source told People that Mark isn't your typical 24 year old. They also claim that Kristen is having a great time and is living her best life with him. That statement sure looks true if you've checked out Mark's TikTok videos of them on vacation. Another People.com source claimed in February that Kristen and Mark had been seeing each other for a while and it was getting serious. This source also said that Kristen and Mark got acquainted on social media before they connected in real life. Kristen allegedly waited until February 27th to post that vacation pic with Mark in Mexico and the source claimed that Kristen and Mark have kept it very private. Shockingly, the source alleged that Kristen and Mark are serious enough now that they were ready to go public. Considering that Mark called himself single this past Valentine's Day, is this really as serious for him as it allegedly is for Kristen. Depending on which side of the story you believe, Kristen is either trying to set the record straight or just helping Mark get more famous. One of the newest Montana Boys videos also features a shocking cameo by Kristen. Mark and his buddies lip synced She's Country by Jason Aldean. Then Kristen slides into the video and mouths a lyric of the song before Mark wraps her in a hug from behind. It definitely looks like Kristen and the boys were having a great time, but there's something weird about it. People.com reported late last June that Kristen said dating was not important to her. She also claimed that she was focusing on her kids, Camden, Jackson, and Sailor. And Mark was still finishing college last year at Montana State University in Montana Tech. Mark wasn't just going to college. He played six seasons of college football and didn't finish playing college games until November 2023. It's doubtful that Mark would ever go on to play professional football like Kristen's famous ex-husband, former NFL quarterback, Jay Cutler. But Mark was still grateful for the college football experience and posted an emotional message on social media media after his final game. Mark wrote, what a ride. Thankful for the last six years of what this sport has brought me. And he also thanked all the coaches and brothers he met along the way. If Kristen's got a type, Mark might be like a younger version of Jay. Still, Kristen allegedly has priorities as she discussed in an exclusive E! News interview last year. E! News correspondent Francesca Amiker talked to Kristen at a Chase Inc. business premiere event and Kristen made some unbelievable claims. Last June, Kristen said dating was really not important to her. She even said, there's not a lot going on. Then Kristen told Francesca, I'm mom first and foremost. Kristen did confess that she's had a lot of fun in these last few years, but she said that was because she was just really focusing on her friends because she didn't get to do that for a long time.
time. For Kristen, having small kids was her world for many years. Although Kristen did also reveal to Francesca that dating was not totally out of the question, and she talked about how she would prefer to meet people in real life. She told Francesca, anyone can be great on paper and you gotta have that chemistry. Then Kristen admitted, I wanna meet someone organically. So much for meeting Mark organically, since Kristen already confessed they met on social media. Kristen also seems to have broken a personal dating rule she discussed in September 2023. Kristen told Entertainment Tonight last fall that she was done. Specifically, Kristen said, I've decided I'm done dating in Nashville. She also joked, I would consider myself to be a monk at this point. You can throw anything at me and I'm like, okay. Kristen and her kids live full time in Nashville now and since Mark's Instagram bio states that he currently lives in both Montana and Nashville, Kristen has definitely flip-flopped on her no Nashville dating rule. One thing is for sure, Kristen's best friends on social media definitely have her back and they've supported Kristen with recent comments. Famous bachelorette Caitlin Bristow took a line from Unwritten, the Natasha Benningfield song that was the theme song for Kristen's reality show, The Hills. Caitlin wrote, feel the rain on your skin. And Kristen seems to be taking that suggestion literally. Although there's not a storm cloud in sight. Ex-reality star and former talk show host, Bethany Frankel, got even more opinionated about Kristen's haters. Bethany wrote, does anything else matter? And she added, be happy. But Kristen has claimed that she values other people's opinions even more. And if you can't guess who they are, Kristen set the record straight with entertainment tonight. Kristen told ET that her kids have been honest about their feelings and she admitted that Camden is the most protective of her. She said that she tells her kids who she's talking to or what's going on and she revealed that her kids can have strong opinions. Although Kristen told ET that she's ready to settle down and meet someone, she also confessed to asking herself, but can I picture them as a stepdad? Can you picture Mark as a stepdad? What do you think about Kristen and Mark? Does that age difference bother you or should the haters and trolls keep their opinions to themselves? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below.